in the new round of international competition. China's shipbuilding industry is taking the initiative to seek transformation and upgrading and gradually increasing the share of ships involving high technologies and have high added value in the orders it receives. Recent satellite images released by the Center for Strategic and International Studies unveil ongoing construction at the Jiangnan shipyard, indicating the development of an advanced special purpose vessel. Since 1865, Jiangnan Shipyard has produced countless firsts for China. The first submarine, the first frigate, etc. The Opium War opened the door for China to close the country. The Qing government established the Jiangnan Machinery Manufacturing General Administration in 1865, which is the predecessor of the current Jiangnan Shipyard. In recent years, the strength of the Chinese Navy has improved significantly. According to U.S. media analysis, the reason why China wants to expand the Jiangnan shipyard is probably to prepare for a new aircraft carrier construction plan. Because the expanded Jiangnan shipyard should be able to build more than two conventionally powered aircraft carriers. It must be said that the analysis of the US media is not unreasonable. While the Type 003 aircraft carrier is under construction, new news has also appeared on the Type 004 aircraft carrier. Not long ago, news broke that most of the construction materials for the 004 aircraft carrier have been purchased and construction is expected to begin soon. It can be seen that China is building aircraft carriers very fast. In addition, the US media also believes that China's expansion of the Jiangnan shipyard is likely to build a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The expansion of Jiangnan shipyard is right the Chinese Navy is very advantageous. China really wants to accelerate the pace of development of the Chinese Navy and other services. In the past 10 years, China's shipbuilding industry has continuously improved its innovation capacity, speeded up transformation and upgrading, and achieved many breakthroughs in fields including ultra-large container ship, liquefied natural gas-powered ship, high-end marine engineering equipment, and core supporting equipment for ships. More importantly, the industry has formed a highly collaborative, open, and inclusive innovation system, and its innovation capacity improves with each passing day. The accelerated evolution of the new round of SciTech revolution and industrial transformation has brought opportunities while posing challenges to high-end equipment manufacturing, boasting the world's most complete ship product categories and final assembly supporting system, the ability to build the world's largest ships, as well as other advantages including strong research capacity and rich human resources. China is striving to keep abreast of technology iteration and intensifying efforts to achieve great self-reliance and strength in science and technology. Recent satellite images unveil ongoing construction at the Jiangnan shipyard, indicating the development of an advanced special-purpose vessel. Official Chinese sources describe the new vessel as part of the Yuan Wang class, touting it as an integrated maritime platform serving dual roles, significantly enhancing China's maritime information support capabilities. A report from the United States Center for Strategic and International Studies delves into the details of this latest addition to the Yuan Wang series of research vessels. This cutting-edge ship is equipped with state-of-the-art electronic equipment, sensors, and antennas, enabling it to track satellites, carrier rockets, and missile launches. Equipped with advanced electronic equipment, sensors and antennae, these ships enable the PLA Strategic Support Force to track satellites as well as rocket and missile launches. Measuring approximately 224 meters in length, this vessel aligns with the functionality of a third-generation telescopic observational ship. It boasts three bases for installing large antennas. Notably, satellite imagery also reveals segments of superstructure onshore suggesting future elevation using lifting equipment. The new vessel integrates the latest technology in shipbuilding, aerospace tracking and control, navigation meteorology, and ship power. The development of this colossal spy ship marks a significant stride in China's pursuit of advanced maritime surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities, amplifying its potential to monitor and analyze various space and missile-related activities. China really wants to accelerate the pace of development of the Chinese Navy and other services. 
shipbuilding industry plays a crucial role in industrial development and manifests the comprehensive industrial strength of a country. The expansion of Jiangnan Shipyard is right the Chinese Navy is very advantageous. It has to be said that the frequent changes of Jiangnan Shipyard really affect the hearts of the majority of military fans, because every change of it can bring us surprise. By piecing together previous news, it is not difficult to see that China may really have to build China's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. If this situation continues, the Chinese Navy is expected to have one by 2030. Nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. By then, the distance between the Chinese Navy and the US Navy will be closer. However, this is only speculation by the American media. And China's expansion of Jiangnan Shipyard is fundamental, the reason is not yet clear. But one thing is undeniable, that is, the expanded Jiangnan Shipyard will be able to produce more and more advanced naval ships. So far, a good number of shipbuilding bases located in areas around China's Bohai Bay, Yangtze River Estuary, and Pearl River Estuary have taken shape. From China's deep-sea manned submersibles diving to a depth of 10,909 meters in the ocean to the delivery of the country's polar research icebreaker, and the launch of the country's homemade aircraft carrier, China's shipbuilding industry is marching toward farther and deeper places in the ocean continuously forging ahead with the endeavor to build China into a strong maritime country and global shipbuilding powerhouse. In addition, the US media also believes that China's expansion of the Jiangnan shipyard is likely to build a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Because, according to the analysis of the American media, the displacement of a new generation of conventionally powered aircraft carriers is about 85,000 tons while the displacement of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers will exceed 100,000 tons. Therefore, if you want to build a large nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, you need to expand the manufacturing site. Therefore, the United States believes that China's expansion of the Jiangnan shipyard is likely to be related to nuclear-powered aircraft carriers.